Good morning and welcome to Keto Homestead with Jess. Yesterday, if you watched, I harvest the radishes. If you didn't get a chance to watch that video, I will go ahead and link the video below in the description box. Today, we're going to go ahead and make a recipe with those radishes. So follow along and I will show you how I make my mock potato cakes. recipe we are going to need a tablespoon of butter, a couple tablespoons of almond flour, salt and pepper, garlic powder, an onion, and our radishes. All right first we're going to slice the radishes. Be really careful Just take your time and be careful you don't slice your nails or your finger off. This is pretty tedious work right here. But the final product is worth it. Alright you guys, I've got all the radishes I want shredded up. Say there's about 15 to 20 radishes here. And I do have quite a bit left over. Now, I do have plans for this, these radishes. I will put these in the fridge until I'm ready to use those, and I'll do a video and show you what's next with those ones. I'll put those aside now, and I'm going to grab a paper towel and just try to get some of the water out of these radishes. I just put the paper towel down and give them a good squeeze. Get all the radish shavings off the paper towels best you can. All right, we'll put that aside. Next thing that we're going to put in here is one small onion. We're going to go ahead and start grating that up. We're going to add a tablespoon of room temperature butter, a little bit of pepper, Quite a bit of salt. A half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Two eggs. And we're going to do two heaping tablespoons of almond flour. We're going to combine this. Follow me over to the stove and we'll start cooking. Alright, now we're going to turn our stove on medium heat. We're going to add a little bit of bacon grease. Get the pan completely coated. We're going to grab our radish cake mixture. We're going to just start adding to the pan. Make sure your pan is hot. Mine's not quite hot enough, so that's all right. We'll start with this one and we'll add some more in a minute. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip this one over. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more.
this is the end result of the mock potato cakes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool. I've already ate one. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna let these cool off. And then what I'm gonna do is get some parchment paper, put in between each one, and put in a freezer safe bag and freeze them for later. Thank you for watching Keto Homestead with Jess. I hope you try my radish recipe and leave me a comment below and let me know how yours turned out. And as always, I will see you soon.